What's this? A cardboard box from Royal Mail with scribbled out details on the front? That's right, I've nicked my neighbour's mail again. No, um, this, this, this is mine. Uh, for, the, for the sake of YouTube, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was making a joke. That's not real. Uh, today, we have in front of us, as you can probably tell from the description below, it is the Ashlands Ultimate Collection, um, which is a little bit vague, but we'll get into it in a minute. Um, I'm, I'm going to start opening it as I explain to you roughly what this is, what you can expect, although hopefully the thumbnail I've made has at least made it a little bit more obvious as to what to expect. I guess it's this way, because uh, that feels like the most openable side. Uh, but yes, anyway, chances are, if you've been, you know, on YouTube for a few years now, you may have come across a, uh, a, a YouTube guy called Ashens who reviews tat basically um, stuff from Poundland things like that all the good stuff really uh, and I've been quite a fan of him of his for a few years uh, in fact I'm just gonna flex on you all here and I say flex I'm sure several thousand people also on this but just to show how much of an Ashens fan I am I do indeed have his the blu-ray of the first movie Ashens and the quest of the game child on Blu-ray. Oh cool, you're probably saying, wow, I bet that was hard to find on Amazon, but wait, I have the signed version, because I, I went to Comic-Con in London a few years ago, and I, I went to the, like, Ashen's, um, did like a talk about it, I think, and then he had like a stall afterwards, you could buy the DVD or the Blu-ray that was signed by all the cast members, sorry, that was really quick, uh, by like Ashen's and a few of the other people, I think that's Ashens is there. Hello, S.A. Stuart Ashens, obviously. Um, and yeah, recently, well, like two years ago, he came out with a Polybius Heist, which is the second movie. And I've still not seen it, actually, because I kind of wanted to buy the physical version, because I was like, well, it's out on, you know, rental, but I want it physically. But I, I forgot to get it. But then he announced the Mega Ultimate Collection, which is what's in here, which is the Blu-ray of the first two movies, along with a ton of other things. So we're just going to have a look inside, basically, what's in the box. Now, those of you with eagle eyes will notice, it looks like there's a t-shirt at the top. Because it is. So, oh, is the t-shirt. Are things wrapped in the t-shirt? I, I think they are. Oh, oh, okay, so the t-shirt is the wrapping. Cool, right. Okay then, well I'm just going to pull things out of the t-shirt. Uh, tell you what, let's go for the obvious one and the big boy that I can feel in there first. That is, hey, there, that's, that's upside down. There we go, this is the collector's edition. So this contains three Blu-rays, I do believe. So it's Actions and the Quest for the Game Child, which, yeah. That, I think that's possibly the two-disc edition as well. So there we are. I now have. I'll keep this sealed because I, I don't need I don't need two of them. Uh, but I mean, you can see them on the front here. But this is the Ashens and the Polybius heist. So that's the second movie uh, he made. As I said, I have not seen this yet, but I very much intend to watch this very soon. Um, and the third one, of course is kind of a collection. It's um, Ashens and the Fly on the Wall. So there we are. So it's the story behind the story. And I want to say as well, I think, aha, there we are. This, um, yeah, so this, I'm pretty sure, contains a few like things he didn't never uploaded as well, I want to say. Um, yeah, it, it just, overall, this this was really interesting as well. As I say, I am a big fan of his work. Um, in fact, some would say it even inspired my kind of channel, because it, it kind of did. Um, I mean, not, not exactly, because I've always been on the weeb and game side. But, you know, it's uh, I, I generally was inspired to make YouTube videos because of Ashen, so... You know, I, 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 think, I think it's safe to say that uh, he is very influential on my... I'm not going to say work, because I, I don't think my videos count as work. Uh, they are a hobby. But there, there they are, all wrapped up in a very nice collection as well. That's really cool. Uh, and on the back there, and uh, this is... Oh, I think... 
This might be numbered. I think these are like this is a like limited set or whatever. Hey, no to three sad onions. There we go. That's very cool. Uh, obviously, hello there. So yeah, I, I guess I've got number 478. That's cool, I think. I can't, you know, I'm going to go very quickly check that page just to see if it mentions out of how many these are. BRB. All right, good news and bad news. Um, I went to check the website and the store isn't like live, I think, because they're not taking orders. They don't have a listing for this, so understandable. But if, if you have one of these, let me know where your number is. I don't know if that's low or high. Was there... I want to say there was a thousand of these made, but I could be 10,000. May not have a limited thing. Also, it's lucky I, I took a quick look at this just to see if I could work things out. Um, and I'm an idiot, because I didn't notice on the back here uh, are some autographs. Uh, they, they've signed this. It, it's a little bit hard to see, but this is actually uh, what the people in the industry call a wet signature. Which means that they've used a pen and stuff. That's pretty cool. That's very nice. That's uh, going in the collectible shelf, which is where I keep all my DVDs and stuff. So you know. Uh, also, I that one I think I was incorrect about the third one. I don't think it has his unreleased episodes. I think that's a download. I want to see. Uh, oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I remember what this is now. A true collector would leave this fully sealed and never open it. That's not what I'm going to do. Um, right. So I want to say this is what was referred to as like a package of tat or something. Hey, there we go. So the best badges of all time. Um, I don't recognise that one. I'm not going to lie. That's the classic Nota 3 Sad Onions. I love tat. Obviously very appropriate. Hey, and that is the um, Polybius machine, I guess, of like, uh, don't, I don't... Oh, that's the Game Child, I guess, isn't it? It looks like a Game Boy and it's got... I don't remember this being a logo on anything, but that's, that's obviously the Game Child. Very nice, it's got the actions thing. I'll be honest, I don't really use pins. Um, I sound like I'm bashing it, but it's just, I'm going to keep it in this forever because it's got the actions logo symbol thing on it as well very nice next up is oh what what oh wait yes okay this i'm pretty sure is an iron on patch so th that is like yo that's really really cool I, I even if i saw this and you know i obviously know about the movie if i saw this on like a jacker or something i just imagine this was like a, a, like a metal band or something called Polybius. That's really cool. I really like that font. I I might put that on a jacket or something. Maybe. I don't know. Um, keep an eye out on my social media. I will make sure to update you all on my clothing choices, which I am sure you're all very interested in. Eee, there we go. That's, that's Ashen's running. Uh, in, in Obviously, this is a Animate, uh, that's a sticker, obviously, and this is an animated version of that. Very cool. I think there's quite a few of these, so prepare uh, for... Oh, yo! The greatest sofa in the world, and you know what this is? It's a fridge magnet, which um, years ago I'd probably be like, I don't care. But actually, I have uh, my own fridge and stuff now, so this, this is going on the fridge. Um, again, I'm sure something you guys are all very excited for, so keep an eye on. Social media again for that. I'll give you fridge updates. So we've got the Polybius machine, a sticker again, very nice. To be honest, I'm not a I'm not a big sticker person because, and this sounds a bit doomery of me, but like stickers eventually peel and stuff, and I just I'm less sad if they're like this forever than if they're on something and the corners start peeling and it fades. Hey, there we are. There is the game child. Very nice. Did. Did the game channel only have one button? I I'm showing how fake a fan I am now, I suppose, aren't I? I thought there was two, because it was obviously a Game Boy rip-off. There's, there's definitely an A and a B on a Game Boy, right? Am I having an existential crisis? Oh god, am I suffering from the Mandela effect. It's not my, it's not my memory that's faulty, it's the entire universe. Uh, ooh. Are there two? Oh, oh, okay, no. Um, <laughs> intact we trust. 
Sorry, I, I thought this was like a, a set of things. No, this is a keychain in tat we trust. Uh, again, not a not a massive keychain guy either, really. Uh, I'll I'll keep it in this bag for now. But you know, one day I may want to put her on something. And the last thing, oh, we have a pin badge. Uh, ah, it is of course the Ashens logo. What does that say? Okay, I hope this is coming across on camera. This is very difficult. I took it out of the bag, but it does say Ashen Certified Tat Collector, which is not incorrect, I suppose, because look at my look at my table. Uh, this is one of those self-fulfilling prophecy things, I suppose. Even if I didn't collect tat, you guys have seen my channel, you you know I do. Um, even if that wasn't the case, I guess owning this brown you know paper thing of tat. Proves that that is correct. Uh, very nice. Right, I'm going to put that in the back. Don't know why I still got this boxing frame. Let's chuck that away. This is technically a collector's item, so we'll leave that here. Uh, right. Oh boy. So I know what the last two things are now. And I'm equally... You know what? I'm going to put the other item to the side there. I mean, if you guys know about this collection, you probably know about it anyway, what it's going to be. But... If not, I'm going to keep it off camera for a minute. Whilst we... Hang on, let me move all this stuff. Hey, there we are. Sorry, I uh, changed my camera angle and everything, because unfortunately it's not very suited for t-shirts. But here we have... I, I really like this design. And now I also see where the um, sticker came from and the pin badge came from, um, which is the Ashens Collection Services, established 2006. I really dig this t-shirt, actually. It's... Um, it's... I, I don't want to say subtle, because I suppose it's not really subtle, but, like, it's a knowing in-joke, I suppose. If you don't know who Ashens is, this isn't going to really make any sense to you. But, um, you know, it, it could pass as any kind of reference to something of a movie, I suppose. Uh, anyway, in tradition to uh, Ashens' style of video making and stuff, I'm now going to give you a quick jump cut to me wearing the t-shirt. Christ almighty, I cannot take selfies. That I For some reason, I look sad in that picture. I don't know why. I, I, I'm not sad. I'm, I'm quite happy. I don't... I'm, I'm fucking terrible with selfies. I apologise for that. But, hey, you get to see what I look like wearing the T-shirt, which is what everyone's here for. Uh, right, and the last thing. Uh, this is, so, this is pretty much why I bought this collection. I mean, the Blu-rays and the tat and the T-shirt, they're great. Um... You know, I'm, I'm very happy to own them, but this is the piece de resistance. And this is Ashens and the Polybius Heist figure collection. This is Ashens and Cube from Nude Cubed. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, I, I'm also going to reveal myself as a fake Ashens fan here and say that I, um, I, I've never really watched Nude Cubed stuff before. Um, now that I don't like him, I just, I, I've, I've never come across his stuff. Uh, there we are, in tat we trust, uh, at the bottom there. Now, usually with figures and... Is it? Damn, are they... Oh, I thought this was like poses you could do. I was like, yo, are these figures actually that poseable? But then, then I realised that's actually the real human people. Uh, Ashens, the collector of worthless collectibles. Cube, the tech whiz. The questionable dress sense, both brought together by an 80s video game that doesn't exist, but which may just destroy the world. It all started with a sofa, uh, and then figures lovingly produced. Cool. There, well, there we are. There are choking hazards. Oh, yo, okay, and they're signed. There we go. So that's... Uh, Dan? Was it Dan, I think his name is, I want to say? And that's obviously Ashens. Very cool, um, and those are the, yes, haha, <laughs> there we go, I'm, I'm glad they had that on there. I suppose they had to, really. Now, I'm going to be really lame here. Now, usually, I love opening figures, that's kind of what they're there for. Oh, and it really pains me, but the packaging for this is so good. Uh, and I, I appreciate I could just peel it off, I guess, and the, the packaging, but... Also, I mean, they're kind of five-point articulation figures. Um, I think I'd prefer to display this as this, if this, if that makes sense. 
uh, you know, because it's just oh, th th this is so cool. Um, the it, it's very it's very meta, obviously, because this ultimately, as someone would put it, I'm sure this is kind of tat in a sense. Although I, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm sorry to end the video by saying I'm not going to open this, but I I'm I'm not going to because uh, that just that would look cool in a display cabinet or something. And who knows, maybe one day I will open them, but I don't know. They just they 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 belong together in this sealed plastic, you know, compartment forever, really. Uh, glad to see, for some reason, my camera's picking up Nerd Cubed and not Ashen's as a face. Does it only recognise one face at a time, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, um, that wraps it up. So I'm going to put this in a pleasing arrangement now, and then we'll we'll do a soppy wrap-up. That, that was a poor choice of words. <laughs> BRB. Well, there we have it. Everything is laid out in a very professional manner. Um, yeah, I've got to say, I'm very, very pleased with this uh, with this collection. Now, I can't remember how much I paid for it, is the downside. Um, I I want to say it's about £50, maybe? I can't remember. Basically, it kind of worked out that you were getting essentially one item free, I think it was, because you could get that, I think, for like a particular price and then the figures were um, roughly the same price as the Blu-rays I want to say and I think you could get the t-shirt as well um, but basically it was kind of like a package thing that if you got them all you saved quite a bit of money and as I've never really bought any Ashens merch before and here's one of my favorite YouTubers um, he's one of my favorite creators of content, content creators I suppose you call them, um, you know, on, on the internet. I thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to splash out, I'm going to show my uh, support and I'm not going to beat around the bush. He made action figures. If, if more people made action figures of themselves, depending on who they are, I guess, I would definitely buy them if, if I was a fan. I suppose that goes for everyone. Um, but yeah, th this has been this has been a really cool little hodgepodge of different stuff. Definitely gonna uh, may have a bit of an Ashens movie marathon. Actually, I may watch both movies and then do the behind the scenes the next day or the same day if I, if I really want to go on a marathon thing. Um, and yeah, on honestly, this is fantastic. Very much appreciated. Now, if you want to get one of your own, I think you're shit out of luck basically. Um, I, I want to say, actually, I think they made it very clear when the store opened up. This is a very limited time thing, so if you didn't buy it then, you won't own it now. Maybe you'll find someone on eBay or something selling them, but you'll probably get them for quite a lot more than you would have if you pre-ordered them. But that's true of a lot of pre-orders and stuff. Um, yeah, well, thank you guys very much for watching. This is just a quick look at the Ashens Ultimate Collection. Um... Yeah, let, let me know if you if you got this as well, or if you got one of these things, or I don't know, maybe you got even a, an even rarer collection that he did years ago before he did YouTube or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it. I'll leave a playlist to other videos and stuff, and a mystery video for YouTube to recommend to you. And that's it. Um, look forward to more videos that won't be Ashen's themed, at least not in the foreseeable future. Sometime soon, probably next Friday. Uh, and until next time, goodbye.